Oh my! Is that really all you have to say, sir? Right, 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 escape, escape, right. There we go, I put in a push button code. Right, 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 circle, circle, right. So now we're just in. Special episode. Kajiwara, ladies and gentlemen! Best cop! Kajiwara looked across the interrogation room table at the robbery suspect who sat opposite. Please, the detective said, all I ask is that you tell me what you know. What's in it for me if I do? The suspect leaned back in his seat and crossed his arms, a smug look on his face. A casual observer glancing into the door would have had trouble deciding who was interrogating whom. A less experienced detective would probably have blown a fuse. What's in it for you, hmm? Kajuara remained as detached as ever. Over years of interrogation practice, he developed a laid-back, low-pressure style. No kidding! Well, if you don't give me anything, I'm just going to have to keep talking. By now, their back and forth had been going on for quite some time. Kajuara stole a glance at his wristwatch. It was after one o'clock in the afternoon. I know you didn't have lunch, so I bet you're hungry. Here, eat up. The detective produced a deep-fried curry bun from his pocket. The man eyed it dubiously. Would you prefer a banana? asked Kajuara. The man cracked a faint smile as he accepted the curry bun. You sure it's okay doing this? Why wouldn't it be? Isn't this an under-the-table bribe to get me to incriminate myself? What if I testify in court that I was coerced into giving a confession? Then I'll bill you for the curry bun. With tax, it comes to 280 yen. The suspect was taken aback. 280 yen? Isn't that kind of expensive? They're handmade for my favorite bakery. Waited in line myself to buy them this morning. Kajuara took another curry bun from his pocket for himself. The two ate in silence, a temporary cessation of hostilities. Need something to drink? The detective produced a carton of milk- A carton of milk from his pocket! What? How? I hate milk. Gives me indigestion. I see. Kajuara reached back into his pocket, this time pulling out a cup. Get the hell out! Whoa, hey, hold up! The man's expression turned quizzical. What is this? It's a vessel you use for drinking beverages. No, I know what a cup is! Kajuara pulled the teapot out of his pocket. This is absurd. It was filled with... What? It was filled with scalding hot black tea? Is Kajuara a cartoon? This shouldn't upset your stomach. Go on, have a cup. Seriously, hold on. Oh, are you not familiar with black tea either? No, that's not it. The man slammed his hands on the table and glared back at Kajuara. What the hell's with your pockets? How much stuff do you have packed in there? How much? <laughs> Shall we see? Kajuara reached a hand into a pocket. He proceeded to pull out a comb, a handheld video game, some rice crackers, a screwdriver, a folding umbrella, Wh a stuffed Tama plush. Huh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! The man waved his arms in agitation. How the heck do you have so much stuff in there? It's quite convenient, really. That's not the point, the man shouted. The interrogation room door opened and another policeman stuck his head in. Detective Kajuara, may I have a moment? From the look on the other officer's face, Kajuara surmised at once what was going on. There was a new case. He stepped out of the briefing room and his colleague explained the situation. We've received a tip-off that a wanted individual has checked into Shibuya Central Hospital under an assumed name. Leaving the robbery suspect to another detective, Kajuara prepared to head to the scene. When he got to the motor pool, however, he found that all the squad cars had been taken out. Without much of the choice, he hopped onto a bicycle. Oh, really? He, he doesn't pull a police car out of his pocket? He took a rotating police light from his pocket <laughs> and set it in the vice basket. You never know when you might need one of those. Then he pedaled away at top speed. Upon arriving at the hospital, Kajuara hurried into the lobby. He scanned the area, looking for the suspect. The individual in question was 180 centimeters tall, weighed 90 kilos, and had a big scar near one eye. Kajuara recalled hearing that he was a former rugby player. His colleague, Detective Kano, had been a rugby player, too. From what Kajuara had seen, most rugby players were quite physically capable. This arrest required some finesse. Aha! The detective nearly voiced his surprise out loud. A large, statured man was sitting on one of the sofas in the lobby. Surely Kajuara couldn't have gotten so lucky right off the bat. He quietly approached and peered at the man's face. The fellow had a big scar near his eye. There was no doubt about it. This was the wanted man. Excuse me, Kajuara said calmly. The suspect started, then lunged forward and gave him a powerful shove. 
The man was even stronger than Kaijuara had imagined. The detective went sprawling onto the lobby floor. The man took off running. He was remarkably quick for someone who was supposed to be sick. Once he'd made it outside, he snatched Kajuara's bicycle and zoomed away. Damn it! The detective pulled a skateboard from his pocket and went after her. The, <laughs> oh. the culprit took a look back over his shoulder. His jaw dropped in astonishment. No kidding! He sped into a nearby parking garage. Evidently, he had some sort of remote control because a shutter dropped down to close the entrance behind him. What the heck? Taking a chainsaw from his pocket, Kajiwara cut through the steel shutter like it was paper. <laughs> when he stepped inside, he saw that the suspect was taking the elevator to the rooftop. By the time Kajiwara reached the rooftop himself, the man had hopped over the guard fence and left to the building next door. The crook grinned at him, his face flushed with triumph. There was a good six meter gap between the buildings. Kajiwara would never be able to make that jump. Aha! I've got just the thing. From his pocket, the detective pulled the long rope with a grappling hook on one end. Hurtling the hook with all his strength, he hooked it the fence of the adjoining building. Yeah! Unleashing a battle cry, the detective jumped and swung to the next building. The suspect was dumbstruck as Kajiwara stood before him. I think that's enough of this little game of tag, Kajiwara said. But there was still a glint of defiance in the criminal's eyes. He crouched low, shoulders hunched at arms of the ready. It looked like he was going to launch into a rugby tackle. Kajuara couldn't stand up to a head-on charge from someone that big. He might well go careening over the edge of the roof to splatter on the concrete far below. Should he dodge aside then? No, if this guy was a rugby player, then that would be no easy feat. The culprit stared him down, then began to rush forward. Dodging wasn't an option. Neither was bearing the brunt of the impact, which left only one thing. Aha! Kajuara pulled a hose from his pocket. It was the kind used by fire engines, 50 millimeters in diameter. <laughs> he has a fire hose in his pocket. <laughs> Take this! Just before the criminal could land the tackle, the limp hose suddenly plumped up. A massive torrent of water gushed forth? Even with pocket space, that is impossible. That is impossible. The burly man was blasted backward as if he were an empty paper bag. How did Kajuara not shoot himself off the building with the pressure of a freaking fire hose? There's more where that came from! Kajuara continues to unload water on the man, battering him into unconsciousness. God, thank God he's on our side! Then he looked down at the culprit lying there on the rooftop and quietly shook his head. If you hadn't tried to resist, none of this would have been necessary. Kajuara himself was drenched head to toe with water. He reached into his pocket for his handkerchief. His hand stopped. Kajuara sighed and shook his head. Of all the days to forget his handkerchief. Da 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 da. Oh, that is. That's pretty good. <laughs> I think my favorite part is probably the skateboard. That is way too stupid. He pulls out a skateboard and just rides it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Worth it.